I guess there's really no easy way to say this. I didn't really expect to be making a video like this. But, um, yes, I am unnatural. According to Greg Doucette, that is. Bruh. You see, Greg Doucette decided to make a video on me about six hours ago, claiming that I am unnatural because I have a good physique in such a small time span. But yeah, that is completely bogus. I'm, I'm not unnatural. I'm 100% natural. I've never touched any sort of steroids. I've never touched SARMs. I've never touched any performance enhancing drugs ever in my entire lifting career, ever in my life. The only supplements I currently take and have ever taken are creatine and protein powder. And you're going to sit there and say, okay, well, that's absolutely bullshit. Well, it isn't. Like, I don't know why it's so hard for people to understand that you train, you get enough protein, and you know, maybe you take some creatine on the side and you get a good physique. Like, that, that's what happens. It's really not that difficult. But anyway, we are going to be reacting to the video he made on me. A lot of you guys have been asking. I have not seen it yet. I watched the first 10 seconds and I said, you know what? I'm going to react to this live. A couple of my friends have seen it. I've sent it to them and I said, you know, like, this guy's pretty big. He made a natty or not on me. And, you know, they told me some of the takeaways and it was not good. Apparently, this is super emotional, super passionate passionate and for Greg Doucette, you know, that's obviously no surprise. He's usually quite emotional, but this one's apparently a little bit different. So we are going to see what he has to say. I don't really do reaction videos at all ever. I don't really post me talking ever. So uh, yeah, we're just going to have to see where this one takes us. But I also have a folder up of all my workout videos and pictures that I've ever taken and saved onto my computer. We got, you know, the beginner, college newbie, the basement bulk, TikTok when I was, you know, slightly overtraining, going a little bit crazy there and the current bulk that we are on. So those are all the videos and stuff that I have saved. I've got some stuff before I was lifting that I can show you guys. But yeah, that that pretty much wraps up what we've got going here. I did look at some of the comments here. Some of the comments, you know, they're not very good, are they? No, they are not. So I guess we'll have to see what Greg Doucette says, what he instills in his audience. You know, coming from Greg Doucette, you got to take everything with a grain of salt here. He is not the most uh, evidence-based creator, we can say. He does speak from the heart. So again, I've not seen any of this video. I saw the first 10 seconds. I know the takeaways. But yeah, okay, it's been five minutes. Let's start listening here. People are gonna watch this and think, wow, I can do it too. And then when they try and don't, they're gonna wanna use steroids. They're gonna look at this guy and say, wow, he gained 50, 60 pounds of muscle in a couple of years. I only gained five or 10. What's wrong with me? And they're gonna resort to taking steroids. And even with steroids, this is a way above average transformation. Way above average. I did. I, okay. Well, I did hear that part. This. I think this is when I stopped watching right here. Way above average transformation for steroids. Thank you, Greg Doucette. I really do appreciate that. However, all the pictures I post, all the videos I post are with a pump after workout in good lighting. Tomorrow morning, I will do a raw physique update. I'll show you guys what I actually look like with no posing, not good lighting, without a pump. I've done it a few times before at the peak of my bulk, but I'll show you guys what I look like, you know, without posing. And you'll, you'll see like, sure, he built some muscle, but after four years of lifting, I'd hope he built some noticeable muscle, right? All right. Well, let's, let's just continue this. Coach Greg, in today's video, and Natty or not, on Max Yuseta. A lot of people look at his physique and say, of course, you can achieve that natural. If you have great genetics, you work hard, you can achieve it. But the question isn't whether it's possible to look like that natural, it's could he have done it? And so his journey began at the age of 17, where he began lifting weights, standing five foot eight, weighing somewhere between 115. Five, five foot eight and a half. I'm five foot eight and a half, although I do claim five foot eight, just to be a little bit generous to those short kings out there. I am five foot eight and a half. But we'll let that one slide. And 120 pounds. And so in doing a natty or not, you want to establish yeah. what kind of growth potential did this guy have? Was he blessed with great genetics to be the next Chris Bumstead? And so let's look how he looked at... Chris Chris Bumstead. All right, let's, let's take a step down here. 17. Remember, this is grade 12. And so in looking over his physique at 17, he appears to have the physique of a smaller 14-year-old boy. He does... All right, that's a little shot there. But yes, that was me at 17. In fact, this was, I believe, I think it was the second day I ever stepped. Well, it wasn't really in a gym. It was my basement, you know, with a couple of dumbbells and some barbells and stuff. It was the first picture I ever took of my physique after I worked out. And I think it was the second day because the first day I just, I didn't take a picture. And then the second day I was like, you know what? I'm, I'm actually going to document my journey. I graduated high school in 2019. So this would be my senior year, end of my senior year of high school. That is when I stepped foot in the gym. That's when I started eating a lot, training like crazy. You know, I pretty much did upper body every single day. No rest, no legs. It's just the classic, you know, bro gets into the gym for the first time and goes crazy. Maybe 14 year old child. I wouldn't go that far. I think I was just a skinny 17 year old kid, but yeah. Okay. 14 year old boy. He does not have a lot of muscle. Doesn't look athletic. Doesn't look like the kind of guy that in a couple of years is going to be able to put on 60 plus pounds of muscle. And he says as a child, he was happy. But when he got older, he never liked his body. He felt small. 
His smile began to fade. He was insecure. He didn't like his appearance. He even states that he was depressed. And so looking at this from an outsider's perspective, Okay, well, let, let, let's let him continue here. I'm thinking this guy didn't like his body. He's feeling very small. Five foot eight, 115 pounds. It's not a big guy. And so imagine the temptation to use performance enhancing drugs. You see all these- <laughs> Okay, all right, all right. Yeah, okay. Guy doesn't like his body. He's a little bit depressed. You know, instead of just getting in the gym to feel better about himself, he goes straight to steroids. He just starts injecting. He pins himself. That's a huge jump right there from Greg. An absolutely huge jump. But yeah, also I do want to say, because I'm sure he's going to use this, this video very often. This video right here, I was 15. I think I was 15. And the only reason I use this video is because I think it's the only video I have before I started lifting. Everything else is just pictures. And I always want like to make transformation videos with an actual video. Let's see, if we go to before lifting, this video that he's referring to, some very controversial videos here. Well, let's, let's just skip over that one. Okay, May 6, 2016. So I was born 2001. So I was legitimately 14 here. Oh, wow. Yeah, okay. Well, the reason I look like a 14-year-old kid is because I was a 14-year-old kid. So there you go. This is the video he's referring to. I'll pull it up real quick. Oh, there's my mom. The, the video is actually, if you guys are interested. Yeah, I got I got eggs cracked on my head because I lost a FIFA challenge and um, I was a FIFA YouTuber. Oh, well, there, there's me flipping off someone. I don't really know what happened there. Oh, there it is. Date taken, April 16th, 2019, 4.48 p.m. Wow, it's super accurate. That's when I finished my second ever workout of my entire life. We'll pull this up one, one more time. Now we've settled the jump between when I was 14 in this video to when I actually started lifting, but okay, well, I, I'll just- I'll Big just guy. And so imagine the temptation to use performance enhancing drugs. You see all these videos on YouTube, these amazing transformations. People say they're inspiring. Yeah, they inspire you to take steroids. You're watching this video, you're seeing this really thin guy, 115 pounds, 5 foot 8. And uh, sorry, hold up. I just got water in my eye. And three years later, wow, 180, 190 pounds, solid muscle. Uh, wow. 190 pounds, solid muscle. Okay, let's go back to when I was 190 pounds. Okay, here it is. Here's, here's the video where we're referencing here. And let's actually take a look at what I looked like at 190 pounds. This. This this is what you're looking at. Solid muscle is is a big thing to say for for what this physique is actually looking like here. Like Okay, well, one of the things I am self-conscious of is the fact that I store most of my fat right in my ass, but I guess let's just just turn around, man. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Well, the other way, please. Okay. Okay. Well, th th this is what I look like, right? That clears up that, I guess. I was not 190 pounds of pure muscle. And I guess just to show you guys what I weigh. So this is the app I use. It's called Fit Index. I highly recommend, you know, weighing yourself every day. So here's some of my progress. This is where I started, 132.8. Yeah, as you can see, the bulks and cuts, the bulks and cuts, the bulks and cuts, the bulks and cuts. This was the start of that bulk that you just saw. So I started at 157.2. This is when I was super, super lean. I start the bulk, as you can see, it progresses all the way up. But that was the heaviest I ever weighed ever in my entire life, March 31st. And then then I started the cut in April and I did, you know, a little bit of a cut and this is where we are now. So we're at 179. This is the, the bulk that I am on currently. It's a much slower bulk because I don't want to put on as much fat. Here's my progress. As you can see, it's just super linear, right? I don't track my calories just because I eat the same thing every day. I know what I'm eating. I know how many calories I'm eating. If I'm, you know, losing too much weight or gaining weight too fast, then I'll adjust it accordingly. As you can see, just linear progress, right? I track my weight every day. I eat the same thing every day. So I'm not expecting any insane fluctuations. Obviously, I wouldn't say you have to be that disciplined. I wouldn't say you have to, you know, eat the same thing every day and absolutely hate yourself. But yeah, that, that's just what I did. That's what I found was the easiest way to make progress. And so there you go. That is my journey. We, we got to let him talk here. We're, we're not giving Greg Doucette any, any chance to speak. The titles alone. Do the titles not tell the story? My two-year natural body transformation. This is a kid with parents. Do you think he's going to title a video? My two-year enhanced transformation. What incentive, what motivation would he have to say, I did this with performance enhancing drugs. Perhaps you're not even legal in his country. But notice his newest title. My three-year body transformation. Am I the only- Okay, after this video, I'm gonna go change that to natural just because, you know, why not? Only one that can actually make sense of videos. Is it really that complicated? It's called genetics. And yeah, so we looked at his genetics. He looks like a guy that could train 20 years and not have the physique he has as a 19 and 20 year old. Oh Okay, okay. What? How are you going to look at someone who's before they started lifting and say, okay, yeah, this guy can't put on muscle. This guy can't put on muscle for sure. You're just going to look at someone before they even started lifting when they were underweight and then just assume that because they're underweight there, they're never going to be in shape. I just don't get that one at all. But okay. Oh, but he did it natural. He's an inspiration. 
Thank I you. can't wait to do what he did. I'm 17. I'm 5'815 815 pounds. And I watched his video and it motivated me. I'm going to join the gym, perhaps work out at home. And in a couple of years, I'm going to be a Chad. I'm going to look amazing. I'll have more muscle than most competitive bodybuilders. Only the sad reality is, even with steroids, this is an amazing transformation. Even with steroids is an amazing transformation. Okay, well, let me just hop on gear and become the next fucking Mr. Olympia. I mean, people see a guy with a good physique and they just immediately think steroids because of these types of videos, because Greg Doucette is instilling the idea that in order to have a physique that you're happy with, you have to take steroids. And that's just not the truth. Most people who look like he did at 17 with steroids would not end up with the physique he had at the end. And so he has above average genetics for using performance enhancing drugs. You really think this is natural? That's 80 pounds of mass in 36 months. It's almost like you can eat food and gain weight. It's almost like that. that's a thing. Losing? How does this make sense naturally? And so imagine the incentive for him to not tell the truth. He has 776,000 followers as I do this, making a lot of money, and people are admiring the guy. Look at the hard work, the dedication. And oh, yeah. after all, he has to be natural. After all, it's in a title in a video. If somebody puts natural in the title, it means he's natural. No one would ever exaggerate. No one would ever say they're natural when they're not. I lied. You at one point in your life trained- <laughs> Okay, well that, that Liver King video was kind of funny. However, what incentive do I have to lie about it? Why, why would I lie about it? There's just no reason. I just don't get it all. Why would I just start taking gear for no reason? Sure, you know, you could argue, oh, well, he just wants to look good or maybe he's self-conscious. Although at that point, why would I even lie about it? If I wanted to hop on something and maybe I said, oh, you know, I want to get bigger and I came out and said, you know, I'm taking steroids. Everyone would say, okay, well, he's honest about it. You know, I've got no problem. Thank you for admitting it. Okay, we're only four and a half minutes in the video. Oh my God, this, this video is going to be an hour. I'm so sorry. Does that mean you're natural for your entire life? Maybe he started his journey natural. He could have. It's quite possible when you first join the gym, you do in fact have newbie gains. That is a time in your life when you will experience the most significant growth. But after that, it's a sharp decline. Learn how to train better. I went on a bulk. That's the code that everyone seems to use. Oh, I went on a bulk and that's why I put on my muscle. And so people, they buy into yep. it. And so it's believable and that's why they do it. But just look at the changes in his physique. And so the reason he stands out. I love how he uses these pictures too. And I've quite noticeably gotten bigger since then. I think these pictures were when I was like 160, maybe 157. If you think this is unnatural, then you're, you're out of your guys' mind. So much is not because he has an amazing physique now, but more so because he had a very underwhelming physique to begin with. If he had started with amazing genetics at age 17, was 150 pounds. What do you mean start? Like to say that you look at me when I'm not lifting, when I'm skinny and underweight and say, okay, he can't put on muscle. He's not going to get big. It doesn't make sense. Like it's almost like I'm trying to teach Greg Doucette that ectomorph and endomorph, there's, there's no set category that you fall into. Like, okay, well, this guy's an ectomorph, so he's only going to be able to put on 50 pounds of lean muscle throughout his entire life. Actually, well, let's bump that down to 25 because he, you know, didn't start in a very good spot pounds of muscle and now was 180 pounds people would say wow you look really good you worked hard you did great good on you perhaps you're natural but if you start out way below average size and you end up above average size why would you think it's done natural it was like maybe 115 to 120 pounds at 5 8 and i would just throw together random home workouts with some weights that i had in my basement i was yep. eating pretty much whatever my mom made and more yeah i yep. just randomly you know started doing push-ups calisthenics just toyed around didn't know what i was doing and randomly put on 40 pounds in a matter of months yeah, that's what happens when you eat and, you know, start going to the gym. Obviously, if I eat like crazy, which I was, you're going to put on some weight. And some of that weight ha has to be muscle. It's not going to be all fat, especially if you're lifting. That's what happens when you lift. <laughs> And so unless he was anorexic to start with, as in under eating, as in avoiding eating food, or went through puberty at the age of 17 and suddenly grew six inches, he didn't put on 40 pounds in that amount of time natural. And so you just think because he's 17 and he's in high school, looks like a nice guy that you can trust him, that just because he says he's natural that you automatically have to believe him? That there's no way he would have touched his arm? No, it just couldn't have happened. The guy was depressed, didn't like his body, felt skinny. Do you not think there's a chance that he might have resorted to using PDs? Said. <laughs> I actually, I can't take this seriously anymore. I actually, I just can't take this video seriously. Also, look at my fucking rear delt here. God. What am I going to do? I know. I'll start working out. I'll take some SARMs. And let's say he did it natural. He then moves out of his parents' house, goes to college. 
Yeah, he doesn't have access to any new information. No drugs are in college. No one would ever touch SARMs or steroids in university. I started. Yeah, you know, you get to college, you just immediately get the connections and hookups. You know, I walk in through the front door. My RA even tells me, yo, bro, you got a good physique, but I, you know, I got some stuff back in my, in my room if you want to, you know, come back and check it out. To assume that because I'm in college, I'm going to have access to more performance enhancing drugs is just not true. I started tracking my calories, tracking my weight, going to the gym. I got my first ever gym membership. And at the end of October, I dieted down to 140 and looked the best I'd ever looked in my life. And I know that kids develop acne, but remember, he was 17 years of age and he didn't seem to have any acne whatsoever and suddenly he had acne. And so potentially would you- Okay, well, that's not true. Let's go back to the folder here. I did have some really bad acne, which is genetic. My dad had bad acne as a kid. My sister had some really bad acne in high school. And so inevitably I did develop some acne. While I was my leanest ever, that was when my acne started to peak. And then, you know, I bulked up and then my face got clear. So if you're trying to argue that my acne was a result of steroids, that's just backwards logic there because my acne got better as I got bigger. Here's the classic going to the gym picture. I think this is like the first time I ever went to the gym freshman year of college. Yeah, it's not a good picture, is it? No. I mean, my acne is not great here. Not great as in it's it's bad. But we will save that for another part of the video. Let's just continue listening to Just a to very Greg late rumor going through puberty at a much older age or he could have got it from taking steroids. And for the next few months, I kind of just maintained because I was way too obsessed with being lean. And so for the next few months, you know, I just maintained. And so nothing really happened, you know, because you can't put on muscle if you're maintaining your body fat percentage. You only put on muscle if you're in a bulk. Everyone knows you can put on muscle when you're dieting. It's not, Unless not you're starving all, yourself. But, okay. but if the guy has the kind of genetics that can put on 60 pounds of muscle in a matter of years, do you really think he's going to suddenly stop putting on muscle just because he's maintaining his weight? Or is it more likely that he cycled off? Perhaps he was taking a cycle for 12 weeks and then stopped and then went back to it. And so he lost a little okay. bit of muscle or just maintained his size. And then when he took the SARMs again, that's when he again put on yeah. so much muscle. Till okay, March yeah. of 2020 when quarantine struck and I was sent home from college and started my first ever proper lean bulk. Yeah, lean bulk. You, you know, I barely put on any fat at all. I just magically put on four or five pounds of muscle per friggin' month. I bought some more weights and equipment. Okay, well, you can quite clearly see I put on a decent amount of fat. Plus, you yourself said in the beginning of the video that newbie gains do exist. Obviously, I'm going to put on some muscle. Like, that's just how it works. I went off Amazon, and I was back working out in the home gym, and just slowly gained weight from around 140 in March to 173 at the end of September. End of September. There it is. 923. That's the picture we're referencing. Oh my god. This is not a good picture, is it? It's not a good picture. This is the classic one I use for transformations all the time. He claims that... Well, I guess he claimed before that I, I hadn't put on any fat, which I did, but you can now clearly tell I put on quite a bit of fat. Just slowly gained weight. You know, I put on 36 pounds a couple months, slowly. 30 something pounds of muscle growth usually takes people 10 years. Sorry, if you're an ectomorph and you have a difficult time of- Okay, enough, enough with the ectomorph because that's just not true. There's, it doesn't exist. If you're an ectomorph, you can only do this. Okay, well, we'll let that slide, Greg, because you like talking about that quite often. Putting on muscle and you haven't hardly put any muscle on to the age of 17. You're not suddenly gonna grow like a weed just because you're in a bulk. And I initially planned on going to the end of the year, but I got really self-conscious with how I looked and just decided to cut it short. And so imagine being self-conscious conscious with how he looks look at this physique his bulked up fat version this guy looks incredible but it's not you think this is inc okay well thank you i mean i do appreciate hearing that because i was in a, a very bad state of mind at this point i thought i looked very very bad but if you even think this is unnatural then why are you even lifting like what, what's even the point if you have such low expectations good enough he was 115 pounds at age 17 and now it's still not good enough remember what i keep saying you're never going to be satisfied Exhibit A, he's that's not true, satisfied. And so I what happens? Satisfied. You start using PEDs. Okay. You're not well, happy. Okay, yeah, you're not satisfied, so you start using PEDs. Yeah, no, that's just With not, the rate no. of growth? Oh, I only put on 25 pounds of muscle this year. So I began yeah, my was, first yeah, official whatever. cut at the beginning of October in 2020, and I got really lean really quick. And so he couldn't put on any yep. muscle while maintaining his weight, but then he bulks up, puts on a ton of muscle, and then while dieting down, puts even more muscle on. And so if you can't put on any muscle while maintaining your body fat, how are you putting on so much muscle in your bulk and then continuing to put on so much muscle in your cut? I wasn't putting on like at all any muscle in my cut. I just lost the fat. And so that's what happens when you lose fat. Your muscle just becomes more apparent. So you just see the muscle and you start looking dreaded. That's what happens in a cut. This is why Greg Doucette does not bulk your cut because he just doesn't understand. Why am I tracing his head? What am I doing? How are you putting on muscle in your cut? Explain that to me. Again on December 9th at 157. And a few weeks after that is actually when I started posting consistently on TikTok. And I again got a little obsessed with being lean 
2019 and so i maintained until around february of 2021 i mean look at this guy single digit body fat looks incredible he's not okay, satisfied sing single single digit body fat i was not single digit body fat i thought i was probably like 12 percent. this was in january sometime this is what i looked like like yeah like i, I have a good physique i look pretty lean but i've been lifting for two years this is me without an arm pump you can see my arms are they're not huge they look like pretty normal arms it's just with a pump obviously i'm gonna look better yeah well th these are just all videos of me posing i'm trying to find one where i'm like not flexing okay maybe maybe this so let's see i walk in a frame like you're gonna tell me this guy's on steroids this is after leg day sure you can see the leg vein there because it was after leg day that's what i look like that's what i look like gain lose gain lose oh i'm natural and remember this he doesn't even say he's natural anymore and so that's code for I went to the dark side. Oh, yeah, I joined the good. dark side. Why do yeah. people still think he's natural? And at that point, I started a small bulk just so I could cut for the summer. And in April, I looked like this at around 168 pounds. And why does he keep cutting and bulking? Why don't you just main gain? Well, okay. Well, okay, let's put main gaining aside, but I was cutting and bulking way too often. I knew that you should probably be in a massing phase and gain weight because you're just going to maximize your progress that way. However, I got obsessed with the idea of being lean all the time. I always had to be lean. I always had to be cut. It would be a cycle over and over and over again. You saw on the chart of the weight chart, me going up and down and way up and down, up and down. August of 2021, I said, all right, you know what? Fuck it. Going on a long bulk. I don't care what I have to do. I gained a pound a week, very consistent, you saw from the chart, for 30, 40 weeks, something like that. And I gained, you know, a, a crazy amount of weight. And cut down again to the leanest I ever was in July at 155. And this is actually when I started posting consistently oh, on YouTube. And not only do I think this guy is not natural, I also think he time traveled. The guy looks like he aged 10 years. At age 17, he looked 12, 14 at best. Now he looks like he's in his 20s. Look at this guy's physique, it's incredible. I started my third year of college back on campus and we, we finally got even, back to the gym. We haven't even got to the picture that I posted like recently. I'm very interested to see what he says about my current physique because I've gotten a lot bigger since then. Long, serious lean bulk, which began in August. And this, in my mm -hmm. opinion, is when my progress really took off. I mean, it really didn't take off till now. I mean, it only put on 40 plus pounds of muscle in a matter of one or two years as an ectomorph. But now, now it <laughs> oh, really, oh, yeah. really kicked in. People, come on! Oh, come on, dude. Why are you getting so emotional? Like, relax, settle down. Settle down, Greg, settle down. Okay, let me let me go back to the folder here. I said this is where my progress really started to take off, right? I've been lifting for two years at this point, and I look pretty shredded. And yeah, like, I just put on a lot of muscle in two years. I'd, I'd been working out, I did a big bulk, I got up to like 170 something pounds, as I said, and then I cut down, lost the fat, and I, I got a good physique. Over two years of lifting at this point. Wow, it's, it's almost like I look like I lift. All right, well, let's let him get to the part where I look started like training a lot smarter, That's eating a lot better, and just doing things more efficiently. And I went from 153 at my leanest in August to 187 at my heaviest in March of 2022. 34 more pounds after going through his newbie gains, after saying, oh, I only gain muscle in my bulk and being so concerned with being lean. Oh, it's just a magic. Oh, it's just finally kicking in. I just really know what I'm doing now. Yeah, he really knows what to take now. I wait in this. Okay, well, if we look at some of my old videos. Okay, so here's here's a set of curls, right? Okay, well, this form actually looks decent. We got 30 seconds left of this video. It's not looking good here. It is not looking good. All right, here we go. Here we go. All right, so yeah, th th this is the reality of how I trained, right? Sure, I was training to failure. I was training hard, but I was training like an absolute moron. And this is probably why my bicep hurts. This is probably like a 30 rep set. That was probably my idea going into it. All right, I'm hitting 30 reps no matter what. And then you walk over to the camera like a badass when in reality, I just did the most dog shit set. You know, I slapped my bicep like, hell yeah, I just did that. So obviously my progress is going to be better when I start actually training smart. This is at end of the day, no pump. So, okay, as you can see, you see, I, I'm pretty sure like I have at, like an anterior pelvic tilt to where my butt kind of sticks out. I got to work on my posture a little bit. Look decent. This is a pretty good pose. And th this is what I look like. Like, okay, obviously this isn't great lighting, but that's the point. It's almost like I pose and I post the pictures that I, I'm posing in. Six and look like this a couple nights ago after a full day of eating with no pump. And so he's 179.6 pounds. He started at 115. Does this look natural? Okay, that is a very good picture. I really fucking love that picture. That is a good physique. I think I look pretty good here, right? Um, it is natural. It is 100% natural. So you can convince yourself that I'm unnatural as much as you want. I just don't care. But at the end of the day, this is a natural physique. There are people who look 10 times better than me who are still natural. I will 100% look better than this at some point in my life while still being natural. If you're not progressing when you're eating and training right, then you're doing something wrong. Okay, here it is. So like this is after a pump, after a push day. So I, I train shoulders, I train triceps, I train chest. Maybe you're not going to look exactly like this, but you're going to gain muscle. You're going to gain muscle and you're going to develop a good physique after lifting consistently and eating very consistently for four years. Oh, here it is. Here it is. Yeah, there it is. 
And that's probably the video I took, or the picture. Well, there it is. This is the physique you guys think is on steroids. Like, I just look like a lean, aesthetic guy who's been training for, like, a, a good amount of time. But anyway, let's continue. We've got uh, two minutes left. Even this with great genetics, fucking, this would be uh, very rare. At the age of 20, he looks one, far better 21. than I did, and I have way above average genetics, and I- Okay. Oh yeah, so I look way better than Greg did. Thank you for admitting that I'm superior. So that is why I'm unnatural, correct? I'm unnatural because I look better than Greg, yeah. I began training at 10, and I went through puberty at 12. I have world records in the bench press. This guy, Congrats, way bigger man. than I was, with three years of training in comparison to my 10. Oh, but he's natural. And yet people think I was not natural. I literally- He's basically saying, people thought I was unnatural, and now I think this kid is unnatural because he has a good physique. You're doing the exact same thing people did to you. He get accused of being a fake daddy all the time. Oh, I've seen his physique when he was a kid. Oh, he was a fake natural. I took PDs in my 30s. Y'all think I was fake daddy at 20? Really? Yet this guy is way- Okay, okay. <laughs> What? What kind of video is this? He's basically saying the exact same thing that's happening to me right now happened to him, but it's different. It's different for him though. It's different because he had world records. Guys, he had world records. Don't forget about that. He had a bench press record. More massive than I was. He doesn't even look slightly natural. Even if he had great genetics, it still doesn't look natural. And so many who see this as in- How, What do you mean it doesn't look natural? What does that even mean? How does someone look natural? Sure, if I was fucking walking around like Ronnie Coleman, obviously I'm not gonna look natural. I, I, can't, even, I can't even form a sentence anymore. Inspiration. Let's let this video I play I see out. this as depressing. I see this as people are gonna watch this and think, wow, I can do it too. And then when they try- Please watch this video and understand, you right there, you can do it too. You can't. That's the reality of it. If you don't want to believe that, then you're just, you're lowering your expectations. Okay, we've got like 40 seconds I left. Don't, they're going to want to use steroids. They're going to look at this guy and say, wow, he gained 50, 60 pounds of muscle in a couple of years. I only gained five or 10. What's wrong with me? And they're going to resort to taking steroids. And even with steroids, this is a way above average transformation. If he had put my three-year steroid transformation, my video would have said, wow, this was an incredible transformation, even with steroids. And so if you think you can get this kind of changes natural, wake up smell the roses okay wow that was a very that was a long 13 minutes but yeah that was pretty much everything uh, we went through some of these folders i showed you guys some of the pictures i'll show you guys the weight journey one more time i guess i did it backwards we're going backwards now this peak bulk and that's just how it was it was just a very linear transformation it's almost like someone can have discipline over a long period of time i know it's it's shocking isn't it maybe i'll do more reaction videos in the future maybe more kind of talking videos it was fun to make it was fun to watch but yeah natty or nots are completely bogus and yeah i hope you enjoyed see ya